Hi, it's Rebecca Sackett. Um, I did a video today um, for taking an existing data source and modifying it um, if you already have a form. Um, so this one, I did a form. Uh, it's a bunch of questions, and I have one here that is similar, and I don't want to spend the time changing the layout. So um, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm actually going to change it and completely replace the data source so that I can reuse the formatting that I've already done. Um, it's not something I use a lot, but um, there are a few instances where I spent more time formatting than what it would take me to go through and just change. So um, I just went ahead and copied the form, and I'm going to put it here real quick. Go ahead and rename. Uh, I try to rename as I'm going so that I'm sure what I have and haven't done. Um, and that's kind of one of my checks on there is uh, to make sure everything did get renamed so I know I looked at it. And so then I'm going to change the data source, and then I'm going to get a bunch of red. Oh, let me change my visible to um, show electrical so that it shows when you click that tab. You can see right here I have where it's kind of showing and hiding. I'm just using the update context because it's all on the same screen. And then I'm going to go over here and change the data source, and I'm going to have a bunch of red X's come up. And then I'm just going to go through these one at a time and change these out real quick. Uh, it can be a little time consuming, but um, it's faster than it is for me to reformat all this. So I'm going to go ahead and change the items here because this is what it's using my lookup to um, pick the item off of what was selected at a gallery to the left because it's actually a different data source also. Um, on the title one, the name is the same, so all I have to change is this max length here. I'm just going to put in my new data source. Uh, and then, like I said, I like to go ahead and rename these so that I know I looked at it and because I also have other places I'm referring to this data, so I need it to be changed. Uh, you can kind of pick whatever name you want. I kind of stick with the same thing. So most of the fields, especially um, like just plain uh, single line text fields, it's all going to be the same. Um, I think it's three things that you have to change. I'm going to change this. I'll forget. I'm my card. So let's go to the first field here. Um, this is, I have open on the other side what um, the questions are that go with this because I have it in a phone app where the data is actually inputted. This one is the where they're going to be viewing it. So I kind of have this open on my other screen so that I'm uh, able to quickly go through these. So the first thing on the card itself, I'm going to change is this default. Uh, the reason I like to do this one first is because it's going to kind of give you the hint where you can click on it to make sure that you didn't uh, put it in wrong. And then I just kind of copy what it is once I've got it set. I'm going to put it here in this uh, data field. And then on the display name. And then lastly, on that max length. And this one, I'm going to change what the field is, but I also have to change the data source over here. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and rename this stuff because now the name really doesn't make sense because my field's called something else. On the, um, the max length, all of that will stay the same on the input fields because it's tied to the parent. So as long as I change the card, um, I don't have to change anything on that. So this one, I'm just going to change the name. And then this other is my label. I have to change it because it's a different question. And then I'm just going to rename it. And then I'm going to rename the card. So that way I know I did it.
And it's as simple as that. So um, I've kind of jumped ahead here, went ahead and did some of them. Um, there's a few things that you'll want to look at. Like this, there'll be some that don't have a red X. And um, you'll want to still make sure that you're checking that max length. So um, let's see if I can move a few things around real quick. Uh, let me find one that, let me rename this real quick. I had to um, add one question in. I had it at a different spot. It's just, it was the same amount. It's good to start with the one that has the most questions if you know you're going to, or the most um, fields, if you're going to use um, it again. You want to start with the one that has the most because it's a lot easier to delete. And notice that this is not showing messed up until I change either the field name or the data source. Um, it would, if I deleted that data source out of my um, app, then I would have red errors there. So this one here on the manager name, you see it doesn't have a red X, but I still need to go here to this max link and I need to change it. And the reason is, is that I use that field name in both, but I need it to look to the new, um, the new data source that I gave the new SharePoint list. So you'll have to watch out for a few that uh, if you reused column names, especially like the title one, it's not going to have anything wrong with it. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. I've got it here all changed. Um, that's blank because I added it recently, but all the rest is pulling in fine. Um, it is a lot faster to me um, than it would be to have to re- do all the formatting, um, especially because on here, I want them to look the same. I want them to match. Um, I want everything to be in the same spot, the same size text, same formatting. So it's just a little faster to change out, uh, copy that form and then change out the data for it. So uh, there may be a few cases where you would find use for this. Um, this one is because there's not anything with it. I add a label that takes care of those. Um, so what I do is I have, um, this right here, I have this one for the fab, and I'm going to do the same for the electrical. Um, because not always will, uh, in my instance, will they have one for everything. Uh, it may have went to fab, but it's not going to electrical. So I'm just going to change here, and I have a little box that pops up that says there's no electrical checks for this item. And um, name it. I need to make sure it's on top of the form. And then I set the, uh, set the visible property to um, look for if it's on show electrical, meaning I click the tab, and then um, if that title field, that value title field um, is blank, meaning it didn't find anything, then I want this to show. That way they don't just see that where it's searching, they think something's wrong. But anyway, um, there's some times where this would be useful, so I would hope that this helps with someone. So um, just kind of go back, make sure everything's working like it should. And um, I use this pretty often whenever you have a, a, a layout that you spent time formatting and you don't want to have to do again. I think it's faster to do this way. So, all right. Thank you.